hi guys welcome to a new vlog i actually ended the other vlog today today and i ended it on like a sour note because i'm not feeling a hundred percent but now i'm actually feeling a lot better initially i thought it was covid and i've actually gone to like do a rapid test it's not covid so i guess it's just a flu but it's quite concerning because <clears throat> it's like in the last two three months i've had like this is this would be my second flu or third okay the second flu i had wasn't like too intense like i just felt for like a day and then i was good but the first time it was quite bad i also thought it was covid the second time it was mild this time i also thought it was covid but it's not so i guess it's just like a kawaida flu but it's it's a red flag meaning like my immunity honestly is, is not that good so i need to definitely work on that anyways uh i'm actually taking ginger to the vet in kspca because uh ooh, i know you're hungry he's due for his vaccination actually the kettle will be so loud you guys let me just move back here he was due for his vaccination on first of august today is third i just couldn't make it on monday and tuesday but today i can make it in fact i have to make it because tomorrow you guys do you remember i told you guys someone hit my, the back of my car and the tail light just like was done finally my insurance sorted it out this is like two months ago a month ago a month and a half ago now is when i'm finally taking it <laughs> to um the garage tomorrow so because they probably will have to keep it there for a couple of days today is the best day for me to take ginger um to get vaccinated so i want to feed him and then we go you've heard i'm feeding you we go ginger one thing about you eh, you will eat huh you will eat <laughs> look at him There you go. By the way, guys, I have tried many a cat food, okay? But this is the one that Ginger um really like loves. I, I usually get this at Aqua Pet. I think it's actually only available at um Aqua Pet because I've never seen it in the supermarket or any other like place, but this is the stuff that he loves so much guys i also tried to give him this the first first days he loved it but now can't stand this honestly he doesn't like this at all so it's either that leonardo one um or omena those are honestly the two things that this cat is obsessed with kwanza omena oh my god and i don't give it to omena all the time so that leonardo is the one that um he eats on a daily plus also always has some dry food there that's the snack <laughs> you guys won't believe this can you see how i broke the litter box do you know how i broke it is because i was trying to squeeze it i actually would squeeze it like this into this thing all the time and then guess what actually it wasn't even me who realized it let me give credit where credit is due nemo told me why are you doing that why don't you just tang? and i was just like what my mind was blown because i was just like what have i been doing aki i spoiled a perfectly good carrier litter box because i didn't use common sense i did not use common sense common sense is for sure not common it's still like common in me at that time <laughs> uh, let me fill up the hot water bottle because it's quite cold by the way. I mean, it does not take a genius to figure out how easy this would have been to do. Anyway, <laughs> there's the water bottle. Come. It's time. Your accommodation is ready. It's even like you want to enter. Ah, this one is a good one. I'm at your heels good good job i'm i'm telling you i remember there's one time i tried to get one jar into the carrier i 
and she was just not having it so thank you good job anyways we're good to go to be honest this country is like the best decision that i made and yes i have socks and sandals i don't care vaccination card on deck let's go well i can't say i've missed this place but here we are Honestly, I don't know how I managed that trip because I genuinely thought I would just be chilling and just like take a proper sick off today. But like I said, um, today was like the only day I could take Ginger to be vaccinated. He's doing well. Fully vaccinated against cat flu. Woo woo. Mm? How do you feel? <laughs> Anyways, I actually just want to cook something guys can you imagine today my gas got finished since i moved into this apartment i haven't had to think about gas until today until today when i was about to fry my sausages for breakfast is when i noticed i the kitchen is quiet kumbe the gas was gone so um i've managed to come back and replace it you just have to have a guy <coughs> I know you guys are feeling like <coughs> for me <laughs> but uh yeah i have a guy so he just brought the gas took the other one and even connected it for me because last time i i had to learn how to connect but it since it's been months i've really forgotten how to connect gas but if i had to i would i just don't have to because i have a guy so anyways i actually want to cook a quick meal I eat and then I just rest now properly for the rest of the day because if tomorrow like I want to be okay then it's important that I definitely rest today instead of like overdoing and just pushing myself. Morning guys, <clears throat> my voice isn't back but I'm actually feeling so so much better today. My throat is still a bit scratchy but I'm feeling I'm feeling good today. Anyway, so I'm taking my car to the mechanics today. Finally. It's a bit okay. It's not that far. That a thirty-minute drive is really not that far. But I'm psyched. It's really it's time now for me to get my my car fixed for sure. Morning from the lift, guys. I'm careless and I feel so thrown off. But my Uber is here today. We have a Jana K Cosmetics um shoot there, and I bought some ground floor. So let's catch up when I get to the location. So I'm actually not at the shoot location because I made a blunder. <laughs> you know, every time I book an Airbnb for a shoot, I ask them like the day before, like, is it okay if I check in early? Like, it's so important to me to check in early because shoots later on in the day are just not it. And this time around, I forgot because I think I'm usually lucky. And there's no guest the night before I'm going. So there's no one checking out the day I'm supposed to be checking in. But uh, today, when I'm on my way to the shoot, I'm texting. Uh, I always book with Orac Residences. I like the Airbnbs. They're really nice. And I just, they don't give me problems for like having shoots at Airbnbs. Because sometimes some other Airbnb owners, I don't know, I think they think by shoot, I mean like, there'd be like a truck coming in with like production things so um they're, they're usually skeptical but orac like we have an understanding <clears throat> so i text the lady from orac i'm like hi can you because it's usually a self checking uh can you send me the code then she's like i can't what am i checking in i'm telling her me i'm on my way she's telling me that the guests who are there requested for a late checkout so they're checking out at 11 a.m which means the cleaner will have to come clean and then i check in at 12. where see i had told everyone to come there by 10. 10 was when we were starting i had even told wanini who's the one who's shooting for us i had told her to come at nine you know we sit down we strategize by the time the creators start coming we're ready Whew. so 
I've been thrown off, but she's really tried to accommodate me. So she's told me she'll actually send two cleaners. So hopefully by 11, I'll actually be able to, to check in. That's fingers crossed. But now we had to uh, reach out to all, all the creators. We are shooting with three creators. We had to tell them like to move the time forward. Like instead of coming at 10, you come at 12. Instead of coming at 11, you come at 1, like that. So <clears throat> it's been a bit of an inconvenience. But anyways, me, I've come here to Java. I'm gonna have breakfast and I'm gonna edit a vlog so that I actually post this. I just get it out of the way. You know, I don't have a vlog just sitting in my phone. So that's what I'm doing. I had to get some snacks, but I am now at the shoot um, location. Let me open the curtains. I take it around. It's actually a cute space. I've been to another of the um, spaces here. here in this building but not this one this is like a really cute um one bedroom your heart keep it in your pocket for safe keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason you throw it out you stop caring about it don't let your head get in the way can't be defined mistakes you know you try and you try really hard but sometimes you fall you yeah, sometimes you fall Them before I yeah. That's fine. quality just went up so <clears throat> I was saying I was just waiting for like a payment to check in it checked in and as soon as I as soon as I got that payment I went ahead and bought a camera I just got the G7X which I've had before same thing Yanni but you know oh my god I'm so happy such a good purchase you can never go wrong purchasing or 
putting money back into your business or things to make you more money anyways i'm laying my edges as you guys can see i'm going out well it was meant to be breakfast but at this point it's 1 p.m that's more or less my plan and then i'm hoping at night that i'm going out to the club to party with my sisters although they're not responding so i don't know whether it's that maybe they went out last night and they're not okay today and they don't want to tell you i don't know we'll just uh we'll see back like i never left this camera yes so exciting i was actually thinking of doing like a quick makeup look but i don't know <laughs> i don't have much time so maybe i can do like a quick i don't know like foundation only foundation and mascara and powder i feel like that would work five minutes makeup done just a bit of foundation powder on top mascara i just need to add a gloss there. jacket by roof <laughs> the sun is directly in my face imagine i came with this big jacket and now it's so hot but um after running errands it's time to to eat it's my first time here at uh, nababaga i've had good things really good things about the burgers here so let's see whether do, do they have cocktails or um, mocktails do you think because here i'm just seeing because you can ask i'm telling you that there ain't no other way pack your bags and then you will go away i'm not gonna be begging you to stay good morning guys happy monday although this is an election week monday and most of the people who i know who do nine to fives are taking like the week off kwanza my sister has been given two whole weeks off like no work not work from home like you're off so even me like i'm just feeling not my most productive because i'm just like many people are not working so even me you know <laughs> i st also like don't really feel like working <clears throat> but anyways i'm laying my edges because i'm going out for breakfast it's not even morning by the way it's 12 but i mean why not um so i'm just laying my edges and i head out today there's no john k meeting because like i said like we're slowing down as we're closing tomorrow being tuesday the actual election day and wednesday and then we'll be back on thursday but even today like we're just taking things like slow so thursday is when we'll be back so we've pushed this week's meeting we'll just have it next week which is not the best because even last week by the way we didn't have the meeting it was meant to be on monday i pushed it to wednesday and then wednesday one person couldn't make it so we just didn't end up having the meeting so next week's meeting will be so long because we'll have a backlog of like two weeks worth of um meetings and kwanza right now our website is going through it our payment gateway has been down <clears throat> There's an update that they were supposed to, this is Pesapal. There's an update that they were supposed to do so that it works on the site. It's not, it's just been down. So we've had to be taking offline orders, which is just ghetto because, uh -uh. but anyways, we're managing, hoping that the update comes out soon because I'm so, so loyal to this payment gateway. Um, like I don't want to switch. <clears throat> I don't want to switch and just, you know so they've been so good to me so i don't want to just move immediately one there's one car issue so i'm gonna just stick like i'm just being patient and hoping that it works out and we con can continue taking our online orders as usual <clears throat> as you guys can hear like i still i'm not at a hundred percent um i don't know whether it's a homer that i had or what it is but i'm still not a hundred percent my nose is a bit blocked you can hear in my voice like i'm not there yet but i'll get there anyways let's go today on ginger's menu is omena let me tell you this cat loves omena like loves omena but i don't um give him omena like often i think just one once or twice a week max is when he'll eat omena and he will eat even if you're asking
focus focus okay hi guys i'm back home and i want to show you like some purchases a few exciting purchases that i made ah where ginger store okay here we go uh from miniso i've actually been wanting this for a while so i'm happy that i got it um this is it it's a di diffuser so Ooh. cute i've never had one of these so i'm definitely going to have to read the instructions I thought it would come with a USB, but it doesn't. So there's that. Oh, it does! It does. <laughs> I just hadn't opened that. It does. This one I'll have to read the instruction manual. Another exciting purchase I made. I stopped by a textbook center and I got these two books. This one is called Make Your Bed: Little Things That Can Change Your Life and Maybe the World. I've had one or two good things about this book. And then I also got this one. This is a really, really popular book. Who moved my cheese? Which I think is just nice to have, like in a physical copy to keep going back to. Yeah. Imagine waking up to such a view, guys, because I have been waking up to this view every day. <laughs> Morning, guys. Um, it's been a minute since I vlogged. Um. It's actually election week this week. It has been election um, week. I actually didn't vote. <laughs> but, um, okay, to be honest, initially, um, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ginger, had I not put for you water? That is Jerry's water being enjoyed okay okay all right go for it i mean why not i just have to remember to actually pour out that water before jerry comes to drink it <laughs> anyways so i've been home for the past um couple of days uh tuesday was voting day today is actually friday um i had i did go to vote on tuesday i don't know why when they announced voter registration i didn't choose to like move voting closer to me so my voting where i was registered to vote was limuru we don't even live in limuru anymore <laughs> like that's where i was registered to vote that's where i voted the last time so i had to go back there and vote so my parents we went there with my parents um to vote right now they live in nakuru county so that's where we should i mean that's where they should vote and i should vote where i actually live <laughs> but anyways i'm digressing so we went to limuru <clears throat> to our polling station uh when we got to the entrance this guy is saying tell me your first name i'll tell you the line you're on i actually i'm not sure if he was an ibc official or just like these guys in there who decide to take on these things you know so he told i told him jay he said ah, this is your line did i not keep there for two hours two hours guys two because i actually looked at the time when i started queuing and then when i get to the room now to vote i give the guy my id he's like ah i'm like yeah this is where i was told to queue he says i just sit there i'm coming well turns out it was actually not the queue i was supposed to be on so come on in <laughs> so and and then it was late so the line i was supposed to be on that uh, room had closed so i couldn't vote so i queued on the line um for two hours for absolutely no reason no reason at all yeah uh, honestly at that point i just didn't have the energy to just start fighting until let me vote i was just like i can't vote fine you know bye 
<laughs> okay that's a lie because i actually genuinely wanted to cry because i felt like i'd really wasted my time and i cry at any small inconvenience but it is what it is you know so then after that now i came home i came with ginger and i've just been vibing chilling enjoying myself um yeah my parents actually have a dog see me so ginger has kind of had to be staying like in the room for most of the time and then um for some time in the day we we close see me outside so that ginger can like stretch stretch his legs and then back to the room although the room is pretty big it's like the size of my sitting room which is why he mostly stays the whole day so i think um he's okay for sure he's okay i'm uploading the last vlog it took me ages to edit this but it's finally going up and i also actually realized what the issue was with the last vlog basically my editor my editing software was set to export videos at the lowest quality so of course it was not a youtube issue it was a me issue um and i just wasn't keen enough because even the size of the video was so small it's just now and i noticed this last time and i was like ah so i subjected you guys to a 360p vlog for no reason i'm sorry but it's okay this one with this one we're back we're back morning guys happy sunday today is um sunday i've been home the whole week i have chilled because i came here tuesday today is sunday and i have really chilled but now it's it's time to get back to the ghetto that is adulting <laughs> so i'm just about to pack my belongings cut included and uh, head back home so yeah uh, my mom is having guests so we woke up we went to like al church early in the morning like at 7 a.m it was quite hard to wake up then we came back and we've just helped her with a bit of prep here and there that's the miji that we were um working on but now i feel now she can she can handle it plus my brothers are here so they'll also help her so i just want to put my things together and um take off good morning guys it's i'm so overdue to end this vlog so <laughs> um i've been vlogging i ha rather i haven't vlogged the whole week but i think i need to just end this vlog here and start a new vlog um i'm currently going to joram to do my hair um i've not like had any interesting days per se which is why i guess i f i didn't vlog um the most interesting thing that has happened is that i just decided to fix my car myself you guys remember i had um hit someone hit my car at the back and the light got spoiled and there were like a couple of dents 
on my car so we exchanged insurance details blah 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 my insurance told me okay take your car to this particular garage they fix it it was there for two weeks and they kept telling me oh the assessor is going oh the assessor is going taking me round for a ride so eventually i just decided you know what no <laughs> no because no <laughs> so i went and collected my car and i got it fixed um i now have a mechanic who actually came and fixed it for me right here um in my house which was really really fantastic because me i'm not gonna go at itungara or grogon or kirinyaga road to get my car fixed there so my dad is on who used to manage for me my car but now he lives so far away so i have to be a big girl about it and just manage it myself so i got a mechanic and he's actually really good i can leave his contact down below the best thing is that he actually comes to you he's called isaac so he just came to my house House. he also serviced my car just when I'm like in the house like I didn't have to take my car anywhere he does service for you in the parking lot of your home or of your complex whatever so I found that quite convenient there are so many things that were a bit wrong with my car did you break parts did you what did you what he sent me a bill oh I also find him quite transparent because when he goes to town he like sends you a photo of the receipt then that's when you pay and then um he also gives you the receipt which i thought was quite transparent but uh yeah i've parted with a lot of money for this car to be okay <laughs> but at least the light has been fixed and a few other issues the dents i'm not too like worried about but um yeah anyways let me end this vlog guys and i start another one thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the one i'm just about to start